Hey friends, Justin here. More and more, we are relying on electronics in the backcountry, and regardless of your thoughts on that, it's a reality, and for many people, including me, they are essential pieces of gear for safety and navigation. I'm gonna be attempting the 1100 kilometer Great Divide Trail this summer, and I've nailed down all the electronics that I'm gonna be bringing on that trip, and it actually doesn't vary much from what I bring on my weekend warrior trips. I'm gonna have a little bit more battery capacity, but otherwise I'll have the same electronics for safety, navigation, and entertainment while out on the trail. To start off, let's flip the pack around here and look at the items that I'm gonna be using day to day while hiking. First up, we have the Garmin InReach. This is the satellite communication device that I'm gonna be using out on trail. It's primarily known for its SOS capabilities. So you press this button, it sends a signal to a satellite, and then that satellite will communicate with search and rescue operations, and hopefully you can get help re relatively quickly. The Great Divide Trail is the wildest and most remote through hike in North America. There's a ton of creek crossings, there's bushwhacking, and there's some really dangerous wildlife. So I wanna be able to have a satellite communication device, an SOS device, in order to call for help if needed. And I'll be using the unlimited preset messages feature of the Garmin InReach in order to check in with loved ones and my team back at home. If I need anything, they can mail it out to me to my different resupply spots, and that'll be super handy to have while out on trail. In order to make two-way communication a little bit easier with my Garmin InReach, even though the InReach Mini does have on-device messaging, I'm gonna be bringing my phone. For this trip, I'm gonna be using the Samsung S10e. I love this phone because it's small, compact, but still very powerful. It has a great camera for when I'm filming the trip for you guys, as well as a really good processor for editing videos. I'm gonna be using this as my secondary form of navigation. So a lot of people, they use their phone as their primary form of navigation, but I'll be using something else for navigation, but we'll talk about that in a little bit here. One of the best features about this phone is that it has a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. So with that, I can plug in wired headphones if I need to, but what I'm gonna be doing with that is I'm gonna be using this little microphone here and it has a wind muff on it so I can just plug that into the phone and then if it is windy, then hopefully that deadens a lot of the wind noise. If you guys watch other through hikers and their trail videos, then you know that wind can be a little bit of an annoying thing while out on trail, and hopefully this addresses that. Some of the days that I'm gonna be hiking will be 12, maybe 16 hours long, and in order to kind of pass the time on those long days, especially if I'm gonna be hiking really boring sections of road or ATV trail, I'm gonna be bringing these little earbuds. These are Teotronic wireless earbuds. I can just take one out, stick it in my ear, and listen to some audiobooks, podcasts, or music. As much as I love being present on trail, being mindful as I hike, not having any sort of distractions, maybe get into a meditative state. Sometimes you do get kind of lost in your own thoughts and it can be a dangerous thing out on trail. You don't wanna be thinking too, too much sometimes and that's where having the earbuds will be super handy. All my other electronics are inside my ditty bag, which I'm gonna keep in the front pocket of my pack here. So we'll just pull it out and start diving right in. So the first thing I have up top here is my headlamp. So I'm gonna be using the Nightcore NU25 headlamp with the shock cord adapter. This is a very lightweight headlamp. It's rechargeable via USB, so all my devices are gonna be rechargeable via USB. I won't need any sort of extra batteries. I don't plan on night hiking a lot because the nights in the Canadian Rockies are quite long. I might not even need this headlamp at all, but if I do need it, I have one of the best out there. For power, I'm gonna be bringing the Nightcore NB10,000 power bank. I'm gonna be bringing two of them. Each of them weigh 150 grams, so one of the most lightweight power banks on the market. And you might be asking, why aren't you using the 20,000 version that just came out? And that's because two 10,000s are actually lighter and more compact than the 20,000 version. I might be able to get away with just one of these on some parts of the trail, but I'm gonna be filming. I don't want my batteries to die on my devices, so I'll be bringing two of these. And I'll have a little adapter. I'm gonna be having just USB to USB-C cables, so I'll have a little adapter that can plug in the USB on the power bank. And one of the things I like about this as well is I know which power bank is my active one. I like to use one power bank all the way until it's dead, and then I'll switch over to the other one. Like I said, for the cables, they're gonna be USB-C to USB-C. So I'll have two of these, and then because some of my devices like the Nightcore NU25 and the InReach Mini use micro USB. I'll be bringing little adapters, USB-C to micro USB, and I'll have two of these because my Garmin InReach is an essential device. If I lose one of these adapters, I want to have a backup just in case. And for those times that I'm in town or have access to power, I'm going to be using the Spigen wall charger. This is a very lightweight wall charger. It's also super small and it puts out 30 watts of power. So I'm going to be able to charge all my devices really, really fast. I did a lot of research into this and this was the best wall charger that I could find. 
design with two USB-C ports. I mentioned that my phone is not gonna be my primary mode of navigation. That's gonna be my watch, the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Solar. The watch has topo maps built into it and then I can load my routes for each day on here and then follow the routes. It's a lot easier to just take a look at your wrist for the map and see where you are on trail instead of having to pull your phone out all the time. In addition with the watch, it also has a whole bunch of elevation information for you, which is awesome hiking through the Canadian Rockies. And then I can also track my pace to make sure that I'm not going too fast or too slow while out on trail. If you guys want more information about the Great Divide Trail and how I'm preparing it, the gear that I'm bringing, then go check out a playlist I'll post right up in the corner there. It has a video about my clothing, hygiene systems, food preparation, a whole bunch of, item, a whole bunch of different videos, so definitely go check that out.